Hello folks, and welcome to GED Microlearning, where we help you pass your GED math. So this is a new section that we started in the summer called GED Hacks. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you all about adding and subtracting fractions. We're going to start in part one with looking at how we add and subtract fractions that have the same denominator, a common denominator. All right, so first of all, let's do a quick recap on fractions. So if you remember, fractions look like this, and they have a top number, which is called the numerator, and they have a bottom number called the denominator. All right, so when you have fractions like this, this is the rule of fractions. So in order for you to either add or subtract a fraction, the rule is that that bottom number, the denominator, has to be the same for both fractions, okay? So this is something you have to commit to memory. In order for you to add or subtract a fraction, the fractions have to have the same denominator, meaning the number at the bottom. Okay, so sometimes in your test, they'll ask you to add or subtract fractions um, that look like this. So if we look at the denominators, um, you can see that they both uh, fulfill this rule, right? They have the same denominator. So this is going to be really straightforward because in this case, all you have to do is you have to add the numerators, the top numbers together, right? So 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6. And then the denominator, because it's common, it remains the same. So it's going to stay at 5. Okay, and that's all there is to adding fractions with the same denominator. Let's do a subtraction problem. Okay, so again, first thing we're going to do is look at the denominator. Same denominators. Easy. All we have to do is subtract the top numbers. So 1 minus 2, which is minus 1. And then the bottom number, the denominator, stays the same. It's going to be 3. Okay, so this is all you have to know about adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. Now, sometimes they'll be asking you to add or subtract fractions with a different denominator. Okay, for example, in this case, you can see that the fractions have two different denominators, 5 and 3. So here, what you have to do is in order for us to be able to add these fractions, we have to make these fractions have the same denominator. Okay, we have to find a common denominator. So I'm going to show you two methods to do this. Okay, so method one, um, we would look at the denominators and we would think what number divides by both of these numbers. Okay, and um, in this case, what is a common denominator for 5 and 3? Well, it's going to be 15, right? Because if you divide 15 by 5, it gives you 3. If you divide 15 by 3, it gives you 5. Okay, so it's a number by which these two numbers uh, can divide. Okay, so, um, so now what you have to do is this. So how do we get that first fraction with that denominator of 5 up to 15? Well, we would have to multiply it by 3, right? So remember that whatever you do in, in algebra, usually whatever you do at the, um, on one side, you have to do at the other, right? So in this case, whatever you do at the bottom, at the denominator, you have to do to the numerator, okay? So to get that 5 to 15, you would multiply by 3 at the bottom. That gives you 15 at the bottom for the denominator. And then you would have to do the same to the numerator. So you would have to multiply that numerator 4 by 3, okay? That gives you 12. Great. So now we're going to do the same thing with the second fraction. In this case, we have 3 as your denominator. So in order to get it up to 15, what do you have to do? Multiply by 5, exactly. So you would multiply the bottom by 5. You also have to multiply the top by 5. Okay, so you end up with 10 over 15. Now, Remember that the rule to add or subtract fractions says that you have to have a common denominator. And now you can see that we have a common denominator, okay, which is 15. All you have to do now is what we did in the past, which is just add the top numbers. So 12 plus 10, 22 over 15, okay? That's it. All right, that is method one. I'm going to show you a second method, which I, I like to call the bow method. Okay, and this is a kind of a, a hack or a little trick to go a little bit faster. Okay, so here what we would do is to find the common denominator or the number of, at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and multiply these two numbers. 5 multiplied by 3, okay, gives us 15. Great. 
Now we have to find the numbers at the top. So the way that we do it is kind of like in a bow or like a pretzel shape. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to multiply that 3 from the second fraction with the 4. Okay, that gives us 12 over 15. And then we're going to multiply that 5 plus uh, by the 2. Okay, that gives us 5 times 2 is 10. And we said that the denominator was 15. Okay, so you see that you've reached the same number as you did before, which is 22 over 15. All right, so you can use either of these two methods. Um, you know, try whichever works best for you um, until you feel comfortable with both. Great. So what we're going to do in the final part of today's video is to apply this knowledge to word problems. Okay, we're going to do three problems. Okay, and what I suggest that you do is read the problem and stop the video. All right, so it says that Jennifer baked two cakes. One cake is divided into one-third slices. The other cake is divided into one-fourth slices. If Jennifer wants to combine the leftover slices from both cakes, what is the total fraction of cake she has? All right, so here, what you want to do is... Um, Basically, they're telling us that she has to add these two fractions together, right? So the first thing that we, we have to figure out um, is uh, a common denominator for these two fractions, for one-third and one-fourth, okay? That way we can add the fractions together. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We, we're adding one-third from cake one and one-fourth slices from cake four and we have to find that common denominator. So let's use that second method that I taught you, the bow method, all right? So we're gonna go across three times four, that's gonna give us our common denominator, 12. Then we're gonna multiply four times one, okay? That gives us the numerator there, four. And then we're gonna do three times one, that gives us three over 12, all right? So your final answer is seven twelfths. Okay, so that's the, the fraction of the total cake that she has. All right, let's do another problem. So here it says, and again, I suggest you stop the video to answer it first. It says, Jasmine wants to make a fruit salad using different fruits. She adds half a cup of strawberries and half a cup of mangoes. What is the total amount of fruit in her salad? Okay, so again, they're asking us to find the total amount which means that we're going to have to add the strawberries and the mangoes. All right, so uh, we're going to add one half plus one third so that we can find the total number. And the first step is to find a common denominator for these two fractions. Okay, so we have to find a common denominator for two and three. All right, we're going to use the bow method once again. So what is the common denominator between two and three? Multiply these out, it's six. Then we're going to multiply 3 times 1, gives you 3, plus 2 times 1 over 6. Okay, so that gives you 5 sixths. All right, so that's the total of amount of fruit in her salad. Great. Final problem. So it says, Sophie had a pizza with 8 slices. She ate 5 eighths of the pizza. How much pizza is left? All right, so here, step one is going to be to set up your fraction. Okay, so they're telling us that one whole pizza had eight slices. So eight slices over eight slices. Okay, one, one pizza. And they're telling us that she ate five eighths of the pizza. Okay, so that's she ate basically five slices out of the total of eight slices. All right, so if we set up our equation, it would look like this. Eight over eight or one if you prefer, but it's easier to say eight over eight because there's eight slices minus the amount that she ate, five over eight. Okay, all you have to do now is subtract. Again, what was the rule of adding or subtracting fractions? That they both have the common denominator. In this case, you see we have a common denominator, so all we have to do is subtract the top numbers. So eight minus five is gonna give you three over eight. Okay, folks, so that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give us a like or subscribe, share with your friends. And as always, thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of your day.